Thank you very much, colleagues. First of all, uh, let me say to the Commission that I'm very pleased with the global approach uh, that you have uh, finalized uh, this morning uh, next to the European Border and Coast Guard, the new asylum uh, system. Let's hope that we achieve an, a result by the end of the year. And now the new proposals on economic migration. I have to tell you it's a little, also a little bit a personal matter because my first European Council, dear colleagues, was in 1999 in the north of Finland, in Tampere, where we decided from now on there is going to be a European asylum and migration policy. It was decided in principle in 1999. And so we are 17 years later, and I should say finally uh, we are maybe uh, nearby. So I am positive about the, the, the global approach, but I am not so, uh, I am more critical about the idea uh, to make now migration compacts with third uh, countries. Uh, if it is, uh, uh, dear colleagues from the Commission, to simply duplicate the deal with Turkey, then I have a number of key problems with it, because let's be honest, I have here the report of Amnesty International of one week ago about uh, this Turkey deal. Yeah, for, for Europe, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, a way forward. There are um, less people that come into Europe in any way in that part of the Mediterranean because in the meanwhile there is an increase of people flowing to Europe in other parts of the Mediterranean and one has to do with the other uh, I think but uh, above that and independent from that what the, what the report is saying is that for the refugees there is certainly not the solution for their problems they live in awful conditions uh, there are more than 100,000 of these migrants who are stuck between IS and a wall that Turkey is building up, kilometer after kilometer, uh, in the border with uh, uh, Syria. There is at the same time not a possibility for these people to have asylum because uh, Turkey has not ratified all the protocols of the Convention of Geneva and for Syrian refugees it is not possible to have asylum. So the conclusion is that for refugees, this deal is tragic, is a drama, is a problem. So to say today, oh, we have the solution for our problems, we're going to simply duplicate the deal with Turkey and we're going to roll it out to all the other countries, sorry, that is not the way forward, I think, in the future. It's simply saying, okay, we give you money and you keep the refugees. Well, that cannot be the deal. That cannot be a compact. So my proposal is instead of having this uh, migration compact, we need real partnership with these countries. And a real partnership with these countries, for me, that are three key elements. That is that together, not them, we together, Europeans, are opening reception centers in these countries to pick up these migrants and these refugees in these reception centers in Libya, in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Lebanon, in Jordan, in the North African countries, and where we can then secondly manage that together and make the difference who is a real refugee, who can then be resettled inside the European Union, and that is one, thing, uh, one possibility, who, who is a migrant, and for we, we need to establish projects in the transit countries or in the countries of origin to give them a life, an expectation, a future in these countries of origin. And there the situation is better than ever, because let's not forget, huh, Africa has today a growth between 4 and 5 percent. There is a basis for good projects in these transit countries and countries of origin. That seems to me the for way forward. Not to say, oh, we give you money, uh, we promised you money already uh, two decades, we never gave it to you, now you can have it if you keep the refugees. That is for me not the compact. If that is the compact, I'm against it. If by, uh, I hope so, and it's not by accident that we can make real partnerships with them, managing together the borders, making projects in the transit countries, and so on, then it's a way forward. So you have to adapt your proposal in that way. And then finally, on, on the last element, uh, that is uh, the, the, the question of the blue card, I have to tell you one thing. The blue card, uh, that doesn't exist in fact, there are 10,000 blue cards uh, for the moment. It's a good attempt. I don't think that the directive is the right way forward, Mr. Timmermans. I think there is a better way forward, that is to make one blue card. Like there is one green card in the US, 
one blue card instead of a directive which shall lead to 28 blue cards now in the European Union. And I think that we as European Parliament have the task with you to push the Council to accept one system instead of the 28 systems that could be the result of this directive.